What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are out on the pond today by ourselves, rolling solo, man. Uh, water temp 67, we're like the 20th of May. So hang with us, see what we can get into today, man. The fish are up shallow, they're all wood, and we are excited about it. Flipping, probably throw some Senkos today. I mean, they are shallow. So hang with us, see if we can catch a couple big ones, boys. Dead center, too. I mean, top dead center. Just how it's supposed to be. Mm. Clean up crawl, watermelon red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Perfect. Not a bad little fish. Not bad at all. There's a couple of them in that tree. Right. Right. Yeah. You hear him? Nice one, boys. Yeah. Man, my line's twisting up for some reason. Do you see how he had me wrapped up down in that thing? What's with the knots on their head, man? That's crazy. What is with that? 
it looks like it was one of them things that was like a dyed spot and then it like popped or something it's weird there was another one with him let's talk about one of these techniques with a senko when the fish are really shallow one thing you've got to do is get your bait tight into the cover um you know you got for example a overhanging tree here that touches the water you got some overhanging branches that don't touch the water and these fish are up by the bank so learning how to skip this is super important so let's talk about skipping it so basically what you want to do how what i do is start with about a foot foot and a half a line coming out I'll start low to the ground and you want to make a, a, a complete circle and as you let go you want to lift your rod up because that will bring the line off of the water so you don't get that drag and you can skip it and that's basically what you want you want to be able to get that tight back in there underneath of that cover so half turn skip bring your rod up as you end the cast and that'll lift that line up off of the water and then you just work it like you normally would a couple hops up let it sink a couple hops up line in your slack let it sink now one thing that I've learned over the years that has helped me is if I'm struggling, some days you're good at skipping, some days you're not. It just, it is what it is. Taking a step and skipping helps on days that you're not at your best. Doing just a little step, just a little, and you can skip that thing up underneath there. For some reason, making that step I don't know if it puts you in the right position or if it just helps with the momentum of the bait, but on the days that you're not at your best, taking a little step as you cast or as you start to skip is really important too. I've learned that that's really helped me over the years. Nice little chunk. His mouth's all tore up. Not bad. He was right there. Right in that wood, right there. Right here. In the dirt, boys. A little Crush City cleanup crawl. Watermelon red. Getting bit. Getting bit. Watching a little MLF. 
catching some bass. What else can you ask for on a Sunday? I can tell you this year, though, it kind of seems like he's above it more than he's below it. That's true. Berkeley Fusion. Straight shank flipping hook. Bringing the heat. Bringing the heat. Quarter ounce. Tungsten Nako weight. talking about probably the best one of the day right there boys nice fish nice nice fish all right guys we are heading in unbelievable day on the pond today guys 36 bass you know caught them two different ways you know when they're suspended in the trees and when they're around the trees it's hard to beat a Cinco, number one. Two, flipping bait. We'll get back to the house, talk about some tackle, but great day on the pond, man. It was, uh, what a beautiful day, too. My God. It got hot this afternoon, but man, what a beautiful day. All right, guys, just got back to the shop. Let's wrap the day up. Great day on the pond. Great day. So, one-two punch. When they're in the wood, you don't need a ton of baits. They're shallow. They're in the wood. My one-two punch today. Uh, Seven-two proficiency, medium heavy. Uh, lose mock smash reel. Twenty-pound beyond braid to a ten-pound Seaguar Tatsu leader. I'm throwing a sixteenth ounce Berkeley weighted wacky rig. And Senko of choice was a combination of Potomac Blue and dad's color denzo uh, potomac blue i was throwing five inch and denzo was in four inch the flipping bait crush city uh clean up crawl watermelon red i'm throwing 17 pound seagull red label this is a lose seven foot four custom xp and that's all we needed today it was a great day on the pond guys as always thanks for hanging out Hit the like button for us if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel by hitting this notification right here. And we'll see you guys out there.